boy, how about the gas station you're driving by right now? Notice the price? It's Robin Liz, his morning crew at his radio. I saw two sixty nine on the way in. Did you? And then I get here and Liz is like, You better go get some gas. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, Okay, Does I that better like that in the I morning? mean the pipeline and stuff was all oh. hacked. It's Robin Liz, his radio. I know. And uh coming in this morning, uh the station that I pass on my way in had like t- big black, almost like trash bags or something over uh where they unleaded. They had it blocked out. So it Oh, as if they're me, out of the unleaded. Tells me they are out out of unleaded. So what they had left was the diesel. higher priced one. Only no, diesel? Only diesel from what I could tell from the sign. Oh boy. Yeah. So that that's what I saw. Don't want to cause panic or anything, but no. you know, I've I, I was at half a tank this morning I yeah. filled up. Well I would say, you know, maybe get up, get the kids out a little bit early, maybe, possibly. So you can Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I well, get that. <laughs> do what I used to do. Well go get your breakfast this morning if you get up. Oh, a little, little Mickey D's Chick fil A exactly action, right. huh? But we did get a text from Megan and she said there's um no gas at some of the places that she's around in Asheville this morning. So. Oh. Oh, so she passed by some stations and they didn't have any, huh? they didn't have any gas. So I wonder if that's a thing like around the Carolinas and Georgia or if it's just Few stations. I mean, Doug said earlier, a few stations, Mm -hmm. not every station, are seeing some shortages. It's not like, oh, no, every gas station is going to run out. So you don't want to cause panic or anything like that. But, you know, I I was at half a tank. I filled up. Yeah. Just want to be sure. And by the end of the week, uh, according to what Doug was saying yeah. earlier in the news, mm-hmm. he, he said they'll they'll have things, you know, with the hack taken right. care of by the end of the week back, and back to normal. To normal. So maybe only a couple of days that we've got to worry. But if you're, you know, like Rob at uh, Half Tank, maybe it was, top it off. Baby, it was credit card this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Right? Yeah, debit cards <laughs> tapped. Had to do the credit card to fill up. His morning crew. If you happen to already be out and you're driving by some gas, gas stations, <laughs> I can say gas. What is what's your observation? 800-447-7234. What about you, Wendy? Um, there was no problem coming home. I um, I just got off third shift in downtown Spartanburg area, and I came um, past the QT on St. John's, and like right there at the corner, as you you could turn towards Dorman Center or whatever, that was fine. And um, as I came down. Like towards Reedville Road, the QT on Reedville Road was kind of booked, and they had some nozzles covered. But other than that, um, it was it, all the gas stations seemed pretty wide open as far as um, being able to get to a pump. There was just one that was really busy, but other than that, everybody seemed to have nozzles not covered and plenty of gas to share. So. At least at this time of the morning, that's good at least news at this time to of hear. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Eight hundred four four seven seven two three four. It's Rob and Liz. What about what you're observing right now? Daniel said, "Okay, gas price is up to two eighty five on James Island, and it just looks like it's growing every day." He thought his tank was getting bigger because it costs so much I know, more, right? <laughs> yeah, where I saw it, it was just a little bit cheaper, but not much cheaper than the two eighty five. Yeah, me either. Ben turn takes a look at our social media, and you said you saw what Northeast Georgia? Yes, yeah, so in Northeast Georgia, there's just a lot of people like. Like just packed, like lines after lines after lines. It would, it kind of looks like Chick Fil A if they were open on a Sunday. Oh, there it you go. <laughs> just lines, just trying to fill to get gas. Chick Fil A if they were open on a yeah, Sunday. Is Chick-fil-A that what you if said? They were open on a Sunday. That's, <laughs> that's right. Pretty <laughs> packed. Huh? Listen, that's when you're craving your Chick Fil A. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Not causing panic or anything, no. but it's kind of reality. We do yeah. have a Care Community Facebook group, by right. the way. That would be an excellent place that you could go. Our Care Community, which is on Facebook. I mean, I think you can. I don't want to overspeak, but I think you can text the word CARE. Yes, and get the link. For yeah, that's right. That. Okay, yeah. so CARE. Just text the word CARE to 800-447-7234. If you want to share what you see with others, that's our Facebook group, and you can mm-hmm. post it right there as well. And let us know, too, at 800-447-7234. Rob and Liz. His Morning Crew. Cherie, what's up? Uh, every place I've stopped at this morning or driven by is out. Out and where? I, in Asheville and Weaverville. Wow. And I deliver newspapers and i'm almost on empty you you kind of need to know where gas is in your area so you can fill up today don't you uh i need to fill up now to finish up my route you do people need the papers thank you for doing what you do sheree i hope you you find some gas where you are in Asheville Mm -hmm. in weaverville we're hearing this everywhere not every gas station's running out so this is not like you know complete panic mode or anything like that but some people are making some observations yeah allison said gas is very hard to find where she is in myrtle beach 
So she can't, I don't know if she needed to fill up, but it's just very hard to find right now where it's not yeah. sold out. Well, so. good news is they're going to come to an end of this whole thing because Maybe of the pipeline of days, that was yeah. hacked. Did I hear there was a picture that was sent? Yeah. Where was that? Uh, that was in Northeast Georgia, I think it was the Ingalls in Hartwell, Georgia, um, that the line is extremely long. So they do have gasoline, evidently, um, but there's quite a few cars. But that's this morning. Yeah. That's, that's already wild. this morning. 800-447-7234. Let us know about the gas where you are. Mornings with Rob and Liz. We're starting to hear from some people this morning that are observing what they're observing where they are. Yeah, Cherie texted in and uh, she said, I, I found gas in Spartanburg uh, in South Carolina, two ninety nine a gallon. So that that price is real, like 40 cents or more uh, overnight. Uh, but she said, thankfully, I'm able to finish my paper route because I was on empty. Well, she's in Asheville, Weaverville, that that area. Oh, Could okay. not find yeah. a lot of gas. So she had to she had to drive she pretty had to drive far a little bit, yeah. to find some gas. Wow. That's pretty good news. We are hearing from Mark. Mark, where did you say you are right now? Columbia, South Carolina. And yeah, the fuel fuel situation here is uh, it's bad. Uh, I went to four different stations last night before I finally found fuel, and then they limited it up to 20 gallons. And it was like lines. I was the fourth car in line at my pump when I pulled up, um, and people were just rolling in left and right because this was the only station that I found in probably a four-square-mile radius that had fuel. You're the first person I heard from that has said they gave us a limit on how much we could buy. Yeah, we hadn't heard that. Yep, 20 gallons is all they would limit you, and you had to go inside to pay. So they were making sure that they put your card on there. They uh, So, I don't know, I guess so they can cut the pumps off at, at 20 gallons. I'm not really sure why they made us go inside to pay, but... I guess for uh, control reasons, you know, like people would continue to go past 20 gallons if they could. But, um, yeah, already pretty bad here. Like I said, most of the gas stations I went to, the first three, I mean, they literally, every pump had bags on them saying out of order. Oh, that's wow. crazy. And that's last night in Columbia. Mm. Thank you for letting us know, Mark. I know it's it's happening at a lot of places. I mean, Doug at his news said by Friday, it looks like they'll have this whole cyber attack fixed. Right. So we don't have to worry about this whole thing. The pipeline will be going again. But a lot high prices all, just about everywhere we're hearing from. Right. And you can go on the His Radio Care community page. It's our Facebook page. And, you know, share where you've seen gas, where maybe there are some long lines so people know uh, where, you know, each of us knows where to go to find gas. And if you want the link for that Facebook page, you can text the word CARE to 800-447-7234. His Morning Crew. If you were have to have a reconnection to remember what would it look like for you? I know, because I think it is different for everybody. Like, I've been able to see most of my family. But as far as my girlfriends, man, that is a relationship that I I am missing. And so my reconnection would be to have that girl's trip. Even if it's just go to a local hotel and hang out for the weekend, you know, and do some fun things, do shopping. That would be the face, I think, of my reconnection. Jennifer contacted us at hisradio.com. She let us know what her reconnection to remember would look like. And Jennifer, you just have to tell us, what, what would it look like? My brother, he's seven years older than me. And so he had gone into the Air Force when I was still in high school. But uh, he had made it back to, he escorted me to homecoming. He even in 2011 walked me down the aisle for my wedding. So now it's been a little bit different that he's in Colorado permanently and He's got a new family, and I just really miss him. <laughs> How long has it been since you've seen him? So I've seen him by himself, um, actually for uh, an unfortunate event. We had to attend a funeral, and he flew in for that. But I have not gotten to meet his two daughters, my nieces. So that is my <laughs> biggest. Of course, I would love to see him again, but uh definitely would love to meet the babies. <laughs> what would you like this to look like? I mean, if you were to set this up. What would it look like? Well, I have a five-year-old son who sent a few videos to his cousin, and he, of course, would love to meet her as well. So if I had my perfect trip planned, I would be able to jump in a plane with my son and fly out there for a few days. The baby, the second daughter, is brand new, but I would love to just be able to be with them for a few days, take some of the chores off their hands, help change some diapers, that sort of thing, and 
and be able to just have some good time with them. It would be amazing to get you guys back together, especially because you have such a close relationship. And I know it's hard being that he's so far away. Yes, that does make things difficult. Uh, he's got a really big schedule of always he's he's always been a perpetual student and and so he's got his hands in a lot of different pots so it's it would be great to just be in person about a reconnect so it sounds like you have a family back here at home so it's you and your five-year-old yes and my husband he's our sole breadwinner right now so he is our superman well you know what the three of you need an evening out at least (laughs) so (laughs) So we're going to send you out to Bojangles for some bow time and oh and some goodness. family time. Oh, that sounds wonderful. We love Bojangles. Oh, we love you too, Jennifer. And thank you for being part of the His Radio family. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for bringing encouragement to our life. <laughs> Rob and Liz, His Morning Crew. Jess said, I went to Costco in Spartanburg, South Carolina, right after work. Wasn't that bad. But by the time her boyfriend got off of work, he had to end up waiting about 20 minutes. But there were tankers there filling up uh, the tanks. And she said uh, she wants us all to remember to be nice to the truck drivers. They're doing their best to get the gas to us just as quickly as Is her as boyfriend possible. a truck driver? No, I don't think so. But I think maybe he just um, had some compassion seeing how hard they were working. Oh, uh, yeah. Trying they, to make it they, happen. They certainly are big yeah. time. Yeah. And then Laura said, okay, I just passed QT where I filled up Saturday in Malden, South Carolina. Saturday it was two fifty nine a gallon. This morning it's three nineteen. That's a big jump. That's a big jump. Because I saw it at two sixty nine this morning when yeah. I was driving oh, in. Oh wow. So that's a big jump mm. already for obvious reasons. Again, sure. no panic, but no. there are some stations that we're hearing, like in Columbia and in Asheville, that have started to run out right. of gas. They'll get it again, but yeah. You know, if you have some extra time. I mean, I was at half a tank I filled up this yeah, morning. Yeah. Karen's here at 800-447-7234. What are you observing, Karen? That there is gas. I saw all the stations open. Up 25, up 414, up beyond North Greenville University. That's good news to hear. Willis is on 414 actually has it. For two forty nine a gallon. Ooh, they didn't jack it up just yet, did not they? Not yet. Maybe later, but not so far. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. We got a friend in uh, around Asheville, North Asheville, stopped on Weaverville Highway. Um, they still have gas. However, the line's about fourteen to fifteen cars long. Well, that's a heavily traveled, you know thoroughfare when you go down i-40 like that and there's a lot of travel that's going on and we had several texts from asheville weaverville area that said we're having a hard time finding it Mm -hmm. so it's a good thing to know that that hot spot right there that they do have that they do have something like that Mm -hmm. karen's here oh no this is actually stacy stacy what did you observe i had a job yesterday they sent me all the way up to greensboro north carolina from columbia south carolina that's a three-hour drive there and and then three hours back you traveled a long way what did you see with the gas prices and the gas stations um yesterday when i filled up coming back in greensboro it was um 289 and here in columbia it was 269 yesterday when i filled up the leave okay so that was yesterday so good thing you got it yesterday i had to fill up early this morning and i was down to half a tank yeah i uh filled up over the weekend wasn't even thinking about it just knew i needed gas Mm -hmm. and i'm so thankful that i did but i'm still thinking if one of the gas stations around here i'm probably gonna top off the yeah i mean i certainly would again it's not happening everywhere but just enough to let you know with the calls and texts that are coming in at least it's informing you and by the way we do have a care community it's a facebook group that you can check into and some people are updating about the gas situation that they're seeing where they are uh, right now. Columbia seems to be pretty bad. Uh, mm-hmm. We're hearing from the Asheville Weaverville area that sure. seems to have some hiccups as well. Uh, the care community t- just text the word care to 800 447 723. Mornings with Rob and Liz. Carrie's here. What are you seeing, Carrie? I've been from Inman to Clinton on 26 headed south, and I have seen gas range from 269, I think, was the lowest I saw. To 289, but most places had gas, and there were terrible lines any of the places I saw. That's oh, good news good. to hear. Yeah, because there's some places throughout the Carolinas and Georgia where there's long lines or some people are out, but you are seeing it, at least from Inman to where? Clinton. 
<laughs> that's excellent. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you for a good report. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, because we need some of those good reports yeah, this morning. Do? If you're like, okay, I'm not seeing that, let us know at yeah. 800-447-7234. Cindy, I think she is able to find gas. She texted in and said, but the prices are going up. She said yesterday at the QT Verde Boulevard in Greenville, where she passed yesterday, it was two sixty nine. Today, two ninety nine a gallon. They must so. have done that in the past couple of hours. Exactly. Because I saw the same this morning yeah. and filled up at two sixty nine. Yeah, and then Debbie said in Greenville. Greenwood, uh, that's in South Carolina. We have a shortage of regular gas, but yes, the price is up by about 30 cents a gallon. Yeah, and we've heard some reports like Columbia and Asheville where mm-hmm. some people, not everybody, but some people saw some gas stations that were out. Yeah, right. Yeah, so just just be aware of that. You might want to fill up a little bit. I was at half a tank and I filled up. Just top off the tank and don't have to worry about it. Give the teenagers yeah. maybe a couple extra dollars. But we want to hear the real story this yeah. morning. So what are you actually observing when it comes to this whole gas thing because you hear one thing in the news and then you get out and go well not that so you tell us 800-447-7234 his morning crew hearing some good news at least about this whole gas thing Mm -hmm. it's robin liz his morning crew at his radio got a text from jody and he says no lines in pooler georgia at least at any of the gas stations that i have passed so that is good news to hear it's robin liz yeah and then tammy said she does not mention that there's um you know no gas anywhere but she said that the gas price is holding steady around charlotte at 279 a gallon at least it's holding it's holding <laughs> yeah, that's it's a, good news that's good news yeah. that it's holding and that she's seen that there is gas yeah. we're hearing from julie at 800-447-7234 what are you hearing julie we're here in conway they're we're, they're none they're all out i haven't seen i'm out looking now We've heard, and I haven't seen any gas stations. Heard from a few people along Myrtle Beach and the Grand Strand that have been pretty hard finding it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even see lines because there's none open. There's no gas anywhere. Yeah, that's why there's no lines. Absolutely. Wow. That's that's mm-hmm. something. That we even heard that just up the road from where we are. Uh-huh. That the gas station ran out. That's a QT, right? Yeah, it is a QT, but they're absolutely out of gas, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's not everywhere, right. but enough where some people are calling and letting us know so that we can pass the information along to you. Yeah. That there's some stations that are running out, some stations that are holding steady, Yeah. and then some long lines. It just, just depends upon what city. And I don't think this is going to be a long-term thing. I think it's a couple of days till everything kind of gets back to normal and we should be good. Well, that's the good news. Yeah. We're just going to have to, you know, walk through the next couple of days you know so if you can top off that's what we did this morning i even called my son i said spence i think you might want to get some gas today buddy get up just a second early son robin liz his morning crew it's nice to get the real life perspective sure you know because we can't be on every street and i mean well you are yeah Yeah, so you are and you're hearing what's happening in the news and so it's like is this sensational Mm -hmm. what in the world's going on but you're seeing it so i'm glad that you're letting us know what you're seeing with your own eyes at 800-447-7234 cat's here what what do you say cat what are you saying well there was a gas station that was that had just filled their tanks up last night it was stop a minute on the bypass. That is good information to know this morning. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, that happens to be in Greenwood, by the way, yeah. is what right. you're talking about, Kat, yeah. right? Thank you. And thank you very much for letting us know at 800 447 7234. And Brenda said, I need to know about the station, or sorry, the uh, gas stations on Grand Strand Myrtle Beach. She said, I cannot find gas. We're hearing anywhere. from a lot yeah. of people along the Grand Strand. In the Conway, just got oh, one. It's sure. like, we don't see nothing. Nothing yeah. here. Everything is just all closed up when it comes to the gas stations. Uh, Miranda, what are you seeing so far? You know, like you, I was trying to stop somewhere to kind of top off this morning, but I'm driving down Highway 1 in Columbia, and there are several gas stations that are out of regular and mid-grade. They're only serving the premium stations. Heard a lot of stations are doing that throughout the South mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Wow. So that's in the Columbia area on, on Highway 1. Just wanted to let y'all know to pass the word along. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for giving us a real-life perspective of what's going on with the gas. Yeah, and then uh, Rachel just answered Brenda, who was looking for gas around Myrtle Beach, and she said uh, there is still gas available, Carolina Forest area, right around International Drive. She said they have gas, but it looks like maybe two to three cars long. That's not bad. No, really, it's not. I mean, you could find that anytime, but 285 a gallon is about uh, what she 
she's seeing. That's solid. Thank yeah. you, Rachel. So that kind of gives you the real life perspective of what's going on with the gas and yeah. if there's any around. Love to hear from you too. It's his radio. His morning crew. I know you probably woke up, looked at the news, you're like, wow, look at all that. And then you drive by a gas station and go, really? What's People are out on? of gas? Yeah. We're hearing from enough. At least you're hearing from the real people who are driving by some of these places throughout the Carolinas and Georgia that there's enough to let you know that there's some places that have it and some places that are starting to run out. It's Robin Liz on his radio. Yeah, Amy said, um, yeah, so Spinks 123 in Easley across from Publix has gas. That's good. So, yeah, thank you so much for some good that news. That is so, so good. We have George here as well at 800-447-7234. What are you seeing, George? Yesterday... Uh, I filled up at a uh, grocery store sponsored gas station. You can say what it is. Um, oh, okay. Lowe's, uh, Lowe's Foods, and uh, I had uh, a thirty cent discount. Brought it down to two thirty five per gallon. Can we use your discount? I wish I could give everybody <laughs> listening this discount. Right, that would uh, be uh, nice. Words, Sounds like you're driving right now. So, what do you see by some of the gas stations you're driving by? Uh, well. I'm in Wake Forest. It's uh, 269. Uh, one place was 279. So you're just so, seeing the uh, higher prices, I, and the gas stations are are have enough gas that people can get it. Right, exactly. And, and thank God I don't have to stop and get gas. You know. So uh, and I told my wife this morning, I said, "Thank God for your station. We need more stations like yours." Oh, thank and, you, George. Uh, it's a real, real blessing. Uh, that means a lot. George, you blessed us today. Yeah. And good to hear that, at least in Wake Forest, where you are, that the stations you passed by had gas. Yeah, and then uh, we got a text from Tanya. She said, I drive from Savannah to Rinkin, and all the stations in between have gas, weren't any significant lines, and even said the Chick-fil-A and the Starbucks have longer lines. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not running out of the chicken. Right? They're not Ooh, running out. So God. here's what we've seen so far. Heard from a lot of people in Ashville. Weaverville yeah. that are telling us enough that it looks like there's a lot of gas stations that are out. Of course, that's I-40. Sure. And there's not a lot of a gas lot stations of along I-40. So that's Asheville, Weaverville that we're hearing from. Buford and many places are saying mid-grade and premium, they still have the other one, you know, the lower priced yeah, one, the right. just straight unleaded is uh, running pretty low. Columbia, we heard from a lot of people that said there's a, a lot of gas stations running out. Mm -hmm. And then some that have the premium only. Right. And if you right got to get premium just to get where you're going, unfortunately, I mean, might have to do it. Well, yeah, for now. And it's going to be such a temporary thing. I think by the end of the week, I, I, I pray and I hope that we will be past it by Friday. Yeah. I topped off this morning. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm hearing enough. I was like at 530. Yeah. So probably not a bad idea if you pass by a gas station and see it. If you can do it, I mean, just, just go right ahead. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Gas pipeline. You heard all about it. And I have to say, you've been so helpful this morning on Letting us oh, know yeah. what's going on with the whole gas situation because you're seeing it. You're driving by it. We've heard from a lot of people who said there's some stations that are done with the unleaded, but they have mm -hmm. the premium and the mid-grade right. stuff. Uh, there's a lot of stations that just have diesel. But there, we're hearing that there's a lot more stations that actually do have gas, mm -hmm. which is good news. But Ooh. it really depends on the city that you're in in the south here. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. Yeah, Elizabeth said, I'm an Uber driver, and there is gas in Raleigh. It's Two eighty nine a gallon, uh, which is not bad. I think that's fine. We heard from Wake Forest, too. And, yeah. and George is in Wake Forest. And he said, hey, in Wake Forest, it's high prices, but at least we have it. At least we're able to get it. Um, Michelle sa it says, Valero on Bryant and Spartanburg. There's actually a tanker there filling up with gas. Oh, thank you for telling us that, Michelle. I know. Good to hear. And then Maggie in Valdez, North Carolina, drove by a couple of gas pumps. The gas stations have significant lines, and she's thinking they might run out pretty quickly. But right now, as of this moment, they have gas. Yeah, it's better. I, I thought, you know, if I wait... I might not get it later oh, today. Sure. So I got it really early yeah. this morning. I don't know about you. Caitlin's here at 800-447-7234. Tell us what you're seeing, Caitlin. Uh, the QT over off of 25 by Greenville Hospital, they're completely out. They don't even have gas prices listed. I saw something like that this and, morning. It was covered with trash bags or something like that. Yeah, and along with the QT on 153, they're out of gas as well. I tried to go get gas yesterday, and... 
they didn't have any, and everywhere that I went just had really long lines. Yeah, a lot of long lines sure. we're hearing this morning, big time. And Myrtle Beach and the Grand Strand, a lot of stations we're hearing about uh, from people like you that are driving by it. No gas. No, but if you see something in Myrtle Beach around the Grand Strand, you know, let us know so we can pass the word along. That would be very, very helpful. Here's the number, 800-447-7234, plus the CARE community, the His Radio CARE community, which is a Facebook group. If you're not on it already, go ahead and join it because some people are updating on the CARE community in our Facebook group, Mm -hmm. too. Text the word CARE to the number, 800-447-7234. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. It's so good to get the real life situation on what's happening with the gas because you're seeing it. So you've been very helpful this morning. It's Rob and Liz, 800-447-7234, his radio. Here's Heath. Heath, what are you seeing so far? Gervais and Harden Street is a shell station, 289. They still have gas. That's oh, good. good. We're hearing a lot of places in the Midlands are down to like mid-grade and premium and a lot that have run out. But it's good to hear that there are some stations that have it. Roger that. That sounds good. Appreciate hey. y'all doing what y'all do. Oh, appreciate you, Heath, for letting yeah. us know what's happening in Columbia with the gas. Yeah. Um, Kay texted and said the tanker truck is at the Walmart in Simpsonville. So that is good to know. You know, yeah. They're, so they're filling up those tanks right now for right, that gas station. Right, for the next little bit. Also, Richard on the care community said got gas just now at the Shell on Farrington Road, Highway 54 in Durham. So they have gas right now. Okay. Lewis, where are you? 800 447 Two, three, four. I'm on I-85, just into North Carolina, coming in from Virginia. Love your station. Been listening to it. Was want to report a gas situation that was kind of interesting. I passed the love station on I-85 near South Hill, Virginia, and went in there. The good news is, well, the bad news is, they had run out of uh, unleaded, regular, and mid-grade. All they had was premium, but they were selling the premium at the price of regular, which I thought was nice. That's excellent. I'm glad they're doing that. So they, they raised the price to 285 which was their unleaded regular price, but they had these little signs on their pump saying, uh, hey, you know, sorry, we're out of mid-grade and regular, but feel free to pump premium unleaded regular price. So I thought that was... That's an attaboy for love. Yeah, right? Big pat on the back. Wow, they Thank didn't you. have to do that, but they knew in their heart that was the right thing to do. 85, just the other side of the North Carolina-Virginia line. Yeah, so yeah. thank you, loves, yeah. for doing that. What are you seeing? Because you you got a really good eye on this because you're driving by all the gas stations and be able to report what's happening. It'd be helpful for some people. Here's the number. It's 800-447-7234. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. Charles says, man, all the reporting causing a panic. Yeah. You know what? I kind of agree. It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. That's why I'm so glad that we got our smart people that listen to his yes. radio that are like, let me tell you what's really happening right now. That's why we're ha- hearing from, I mean, we're the texts and phones are just going amazingly well yeah. with people who are telling us the real story at his radio, 800-447-7234. Regina, uh, you're in Raleigh. What are you seeing? Um, I just left the BJ's at Briar Creek, and there were a lot of, there were a long lines. I was able to get gas, but there's a lot of people. And um, it was like 266.9. So all the BJ's customers are probably running there now, but they had gas, but there's a lot of people there. And I'm so glad you got it. Uh, thank you very much. I love you guys. Thank you. Love you right back. You have a great day. You too. Enjoy. Oh, thank you, Regina, yeah. for letting us know. I mean, we're hearing from a lot of people that say, listen, there is some gas. Yeah, so so it's good. 800-447-7234. Yeah, Caitlin said, Fayetteville, North Carolina, it's kind of hard to find a gas station that's not out. The smaller stations not in town and around the major highways uh, still have a little bit of gas. So that's in Fayetteville. That where is in Caitlin Fayetteville, is. yeah. Here's Kim. What are you seeing, Kim? I am in Westminster, South Carolina, and the gas stations right now have gas. Some of them have went up like 15, 20 cents since yesterday. But we have gas. Good. Yeah. See? So there's some that are out, some that do have it. Yeah, and then in Asheville, and I know there's been a situation in Asheville, it seemed like this morning, um, but Yvonne said the shell on Charlotte Street just got a delivery of gas. Sweet. Good to know. Oh. Thank you. Alicia's here. What do you see, Alicia? Um, I'm traveling. I'm on uh, 25 towards Moonville. The Marathon and the Sphinx, actually the Sphinx has a tanker there now. Their gas is 289 a gallon, and so is the Marathon. 
on 25 in Moonville. What's good is we're hearing from a lot of people that are seeing the gas tankers at gas stations filling up their tanks. Absolutely, and the lines are there. So if you want it, you better go get it. So while we're hearing that there are some that are out, yeah. the tankers are on their way. Thank goodness, and thank oh, you to all man. the truck drivers that are making sure we've got enough gas.